so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hello! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at! Wow! Yeah, today we're at Moonlight Rollerway in Glendale, California! Woohoo! This is a place where you can roller skate! Woohoo! Yeah! Have you ever roller skated before? It is so much fun. But first, I have someone really important and special to introduce you to. It's Mika, and she is my best friend. Hey, Blippi. Whoa! Hi, everyone. I'm Mika. Yeah! Mika is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, Mika, <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> hey, Mika, do you want to know what we're going to do today? Yeah. Check it out. Moonlight Roller Way? Really good balance. <laughs> yeah, you do. I bet you are gonna do really good. Oh, we'll see. I bet you're gonna do really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, come on. between ice skates and roller skates? Yeah, an ice skate has a blade, and roller skates have four wheels, two in the front and two in the back. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Yeah. Hey, should we go get on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Whoa, look at all these skates. Oh, wow, there's so many. Hello. Hi. Hey, who are you? I'm Pedro. Hi, oh, I'm Mika. And I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What are you up to? I'm disinfecting these skates. Whoa, oh. disinfecting? Ooh, can I see? Yes, you can. Whoa, check it out. Disinfectant. Whoa. <laughs> that way, it can get all of the germs out of the skates and keep them nice and clean. Yeah, so then they're not really stinky. Oh. Ew, <laughs> ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go, Pedro. <laughs> Whoa. So you really want to go roller skates? What's the first thing we should do? We first need to figure out what size skate you wear. Oh! Do you know your shoe size? Whoa! If you know your shoe size, that's your roller skate size. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you have big sizes and small sizes? Or what size do you have? We have from toddler sizes. Oh, so cute! Whoa! <laughs> very big sizes. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! This one's so small. Yeah, and this one's really big. Wow, <laughs> so cool. What's the largest size you have, Pedro? This is the largest one at a 16. Wow. Up to 16, that's a lot of sizes. Yeah, <laughs> will you count to 16 with us? Awesome. Yeah. One, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16! Yeah! Whoa! Ooh. I got these for you, Mika. Thank you! And these are for you, Blippi. Ooh, thank you so much, Pedro! Yeah! Whoa! Shall we go put on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> so much fun, Mika! Yeah, I'm so excited, Blippi! Yeah! Look at these cool skates! Wow, and there's so many parts on this skate! Yeah, oh look! The wheels! Whoa, let's count them together! Okay! One, two, three, 
four. Four. Wow. Four wheels. So cool. What's this up front? Oh, this is the toe stop. It helps you brake so you can stop. Wow, cool. Oh, and check this out. Yeah. It looks like we have some brown shoelaces. So then you can tighten it up around your foot so your foot doesn't fall out. Yep, yeah, nice. Whoa! And look, it kind of looks like a shoe, but it's not called a shoe. Yeah! It's called a boot! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! But before we go out and skate, we should probably get on our safety gear! Yeah, safety gear! What do you have, Cookie? Oh, let's see. We have. Oh, look! Oh, do. You do? Yep! Yeah! Wrist guards! Yeah, you put them on your wrists, and then it keeps your hands nice and safe! Yeah! Oh! What do you have? I also have some elbow pads. Wow. Yep, they go right here on your elbow. All of these things will protect you in case you fall down. Yeah. Ooh, and these kind of look like elbow pads, but they're bigger. Yeah. These are actually for your knees. Yep. So then your knees are nice and protected. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. And last but not least, helmets. Yeah. Ooh. Mine's the color blue. That's one of my two favorite colors. Well, shall we gear up so then we can roller skate? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah! Yay! Alright, let's go! Whoa, now we have our skates and our helmets on! Yeah. We should probably put on our knee pads! <laughs> Ooh, that's my helmet! Whoa, yeah they do! Whoa! Super fun. <laughs> All right, now that we have our safety gear on, let's go ride. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 You Whoa. okay? We have fun. Whoa. All right. Whoa. It's Whoa. Be slippery. Whoa. Whoa. This is tricky. Here I go. Whoa. It is really. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. I almost fell. It's so slippery. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. We need to work on our balance. Oh no, I can't stop! Whoa. Watch Whoa. out! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mika. Whoa! I'm glad you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whoa, all the safety gear really helps us stay safe. Yeah, Whoa. and it makes it less scary if you're gonna fall down. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! You did? Do you yeah. need help up? Oh, sure, thank you. All right. Whoa. 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 Thanks, Flippy. You're welcome. Wow. wow. This is really hard, huh? Yeah, it's pretty tricky trying to keep your balance up here. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. Do you see that? Wow. Whoa. This is really good. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Hi, guys. How are you? Pretty Hi. good. How are you? What's your I'm name? doing really well. My, I'm Coach JC here with Moonlight Rollerway. Whoa. And I would like to teach both of you to skate better. Wow. You're a coach. That means you must know a lot about roller skating. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but let's get started. What I'd like to do is teach you first, see how you're losing your balance. Yeah. We want to get you both in the T position. So you're going to roll your skate behind. Put it in a T, and look, you can stand up nice and tall. Whoa. And hold your balance. Wow. So yeah, see? Yeah. And I noticed that you were just falled, and so yeah. let's see if we can go over that. Let's okay. go over okay. practice falling and getting back up. Wait, okay. we're gonna practice falling? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome, so let's all sit down. Okay. Oh. We're gonna get down just like this. Okay. Oh. And the Whoa. first thing you always wanna do when you're on the ground is get your hands off the floor okay. so that no one can roll over them. Oh. So hands in the lap 
and then we're gonna roll over on two knees. So we're gonna go two knees down, and then we're gonna go one knee up. We're gonna take both hands, put it on that knee, and we're gonna look up because we're going up. We're gonna push straight up, and look, we're gonna go right back into that T. We Whoa. just practiced. Wow! Now, Mika, you can get up on your own if you fall again. Yeah! Wow, thanks for teaching us that. No yeah. problem. That's great. So now, can you guys both say one, two, three, roll? Yeah. yeah. One, two, two three, three, roll! Awesome. That means you can skate. Okay, what? so we're going to put action to all those words you just said. Okay. So we're going to now take our T and move it into a letter V. And by putting a letter V with your skate, see how we can touch the back wheels? Yeah. We're gonna put our hands in front, we're gonna keep our knees bent, and we're gonna keep our hands nice and straight and our heads up. And we're gonna go one, two, three, roll. Okay, okay let's do that together. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three, roll. See, and if you lose control, what's the letter we go right back to? The T. Oh. Letter? The T. That's going to be your favorite letter today. Yeah. Okay, so from the T, we're going to go back to the B and we're going to try rolling just a little bit further this time. All right. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three roll. roll. And we're going to keep going. And this time, we're going to try and put our heel back okay. and lift and get that toe stop into the surface. Oh, whoa. That See? was cool. We just stopped with the toe stop. We really just stopped. Toe stop. And now watch to the T. To the T. The T. Our favorite letter. And yeah. then we're going to go right across and we're going to keep going with our marching and our hands strong in front. Whoa. One, two, three. One, two, three. three. Roll. Whoa. Wow, look how good your pulls are getting. Yeah. I'm we so excited. Getting, yeah, we are getting really good, huh, Mika? Yeah, I feel much better about skating now. Whoa. Great job, you guys, and you're skating safely. Yeah. Oh, look well, at us. shall we show us your stuff now? Yes. Yeah. You guys go on, enjoy your skate. All right. Woo -hoo. Nice job. Yeah. Thanks, It was really fun, and Nika did really good. Her balance is great. Aw, thanks, Blippi. You did really great, too. What a fun day. <laughs> Glad you guys had a good time. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. See you later, Pedro. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, we learned so many cool things today and really got to practice our balance and skating skills. Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Wait, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell you. It's M E P K A H. Mika. Wow. wow, Mika. Hey, why don't we go on some more fun field trips together soon? Yes, I would love to, Blippi. Yeah, let's go. All right, see ya. Bye bye. <laughs>
everyone, it's me, Blippi, and I'm with my best friend, Mika. Hi, everyone. We're at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Yeah. And it's actually nighttime, and this place is closed. Yeah, so we got special permission to be here at night. Yeah. That gives me a great idea. Right. Let's have Night at the Aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Hi, Bobby and Mika, have fun. See ya. Thank you. Whoa. 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 What is that? Check it out. It looks like a spider crab. Yeah, it looks like a giant red spider, but it's a crab. Yeah. And check it out, Mika. Looks like it has some claws. Yeah, oh. pictures. <laughs> it also looks like it's looking right at you, Blippi. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, my name is Blippi. Hi, What's your Mika. name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't have a name. <laughs> have you ever seen a crab walk on the ocean floor? Yeah, they walk sideways. Yeah. Will you act like crabs with us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I like being a crab. Ooh, me too. <laughs> wow. wow. Check it out! So pretty! Yeah, do you know what they are? Those are sea stars! Yeah! And look, they're the shape of a star! Yeah! That makes sense. <laughs> Shall we count how many points it has? Yeah, let's do it! One, two, two three, three, four, five! Three. Wow! Looks like they're just stuck to the rock like this! Yeah. <laughs> They seem to really like it. They're all hugging this rock. I like acting like a sea star. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it, Blippi. <laughs> That's silly. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this big tank. Wow, you're right. <gasps> so much water in here. Whoa. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Fish. Wow, they're all swimming together. Yeah. Here they go. These are yellow tails. Yeah. Hello. If you look really close, you see that their tails are yellow. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many of them. Wow, I think they like us. They yeah. keep coming over. <laughs> Do you know what a big group of fish is called? Yeah, a, a school. school. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Whoa. <gasps> Mika, look it? way over here. Come on. Do you see what it is? Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness. A really cute sea otter. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wow. Sea otters are so cool. Whoa. Wow. They're in the water. Hey. They can swim in the water and be on land. Yeah. And their fur is really, really dense. Yeah. Oh, look. They're snuggling. Oh, they're so cute. Hey. I wonder if they're best friends. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their hair is so dense. Actually, it's fur. Yeah. yeah. There's about a million pieces of hair and about that big of size. That's super duper furry. Yeah. <laughs> That's equal to about all the hair on an average sized dog. Wow, that's a lot of fur. Yeah, whoa. They like to dive down and find their food, things like shellfish, crab. Clams, yeah. sea urchins. Yep, and they'll whoa. bring it up out of the water onto a rock and hang out and eat their food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how their front hands kind of look like hands, but their back feet yeah, they're actually kind of flippers. Yeah. <laughs> so then they swim with their back flipper feet. Yep. <laughs> it's like flippers in the back and paws in the front. Yeah. Check them out. <sighs> well, there it goes. Wow. wow. Check it out. They're so tiny. Yeah, teeny tiny jellyfish. Yeah. Wow. Look at them go. They're just swimming like this. Whoop. before. I know, they're so small. <laughs> oh, and look over here, Mika. Whoa. Whoa. These 
these are a little bit bigger. Yeah, we can call these medium-sized <laughs> jellyfish. That's right. Wow, look at their long tentacles. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> Whoa, Mika, look. Wow. Big jellyfish. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Jellyfish are so cool. They don't have hearts, they don't have brains, but they need to eat food to survive. Yeah, they're living creatures. That's right. Wow, that is so cool. And if you ever see a jellyfish, you want to make sure not to touch it because they sting. Yeah. Wow. Oh, hello. <laughs> and do you see the brown tentacles? Looks like hair. Yeah. That hair tentacle looking type of things, that's what actually stings you if you touch it. Good thing this is glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, see you later, jellyfish. Wow, pretty. <laughs> so we saw small jellyfish, mm -hmm. medium-sized jellyfish, and big jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look over here. Oh, come on. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Hey. Hello. I'm Blippi. Hi, Mika. <laughs> And this is a puffin. Wow. Oh. Hi, buddy. Look at him just floating on top of the water. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Puffins are super cool because they can dive down into the water and catch a lot of fish. Yeah. Ten fish is pretty normal for them to catch in one dive. Yeah. yeah. And do you see those rocks up there? Yeah. That's where they live. Yep. See? Yeah, if there's a cliff next to water, you might find some puffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, puffins! Hey! Whoa! Their beaks look so cool! Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! So colorful in there! Yeah, it's a coral reef! Yeah! <laughs> You see all those fish? They're so colorful. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah, ooh, look at wow. that one right there. It's just yellow. Yeah. So yellow, it looks like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, Flippy, I bet you'd like that one over there because it's orange. One of your favorite colors. Oh yeah, you're right. And there's white stripes on it and black. That one looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That one right there, yeah, has a blue body and a yellow tail. Oh, cool. Whoa. Ooh. You see any other colorful ones, Mika? Hmm. Oh, I see a black and white one coming this way. Oh, yeah, black and white stripes. Yeah, almost like a zebra. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Ah. Ooh, and look at that one right there. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, a blue body <laughs> with some black. And a yellow tail. Wow. wow. There are so many colors in here. Yeah, so colorful. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. These are some of the teeniest, tiniest frogs I have ever seen. These are poisonous dart frogs and can typically be found in the rainforest. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's like a red orange. Poisonous dart frogs come in so many different sorts of colors, and their bright colors tell animals and people to stay away because they're really poisonous, but they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I think there's some more over here. Come on. Wow. These have white stripes down their back. They look so cool. They're poisonous because of the poison in the food that they eat. <laughs> you have to stay away. But wow, they're just really adorable and fabulous. <laughs> Mika, look! <laughs> Check it out! More frogs! Whoa! These are magnificent tree frogs. Whoa! It's the color green. Yeah! That's called camouflage. It blends in with its environment. Yeah, do you know what is green in here? Yeah, leaves! Whoa, 
So then other animals can't see those frogs. So cool. <laughs> Ooh, and look down here. These are Mexican salamanders. Yeah, also known as oxalotls. What a silly name. Whoa, hello. Yeah, they're typically darkish, greenish, brownish in the nature. Yeah, so then they blend in to their environment, just like those frogs. Yeah, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it's an octopus. Can you see it? Yeah. Whoa. Octopuses have eight arms. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we, together, have four. One, two, three, four. Whoa. Times that by two, and then you have eight. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine having eight arms? Whoa, that'd be so cool. Yeah, and octopuses have little suction cups on their arms so that they can taste wherever they go. Yeah, and it sticks to things. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> and octopuses can actually change color and texture. That's called camouflage. Yeah, and they're also really, really smart. <laughs> yeah, and did you know octopuses, their mouths are actually beaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, looks really white now. Wow. Kind of hard to see back there. Yeah, it's oh, changing it's colors. Oh, hello, octopus. Hi. Whoa, take a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. bunch of sharks. Yeah. Wow. But I actually heard that we can get in. What? Yeah. That's so cool. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Need to be very careful. Do not step on any of these sharks. Excuse us. Excuse us. Ooh, Ooh it's a little cold and chilly. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, these are shark jaws. Yeah. And look at all the teeth. There's so many teeth. Whoa, yeah. hello. For sharp. Yeah. Whoa. Are they sharp? Whoa, yeah, they are. Look at this really big one. Whoa, Mika, cool. <laughs> wow. And this shark jaw. Yeah, the teeth are really small. This jaw is actually the same type of sharks in here. Yeah. So cute. Much <laughs> smaller than something like this. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Bet you can't guess what shark this comes from, Mika. Uh, it's one tooth. And it comes from a shark that's really big. It's a really great shark. Oh, the great white shark, Flippy? Yeah. Whoa, look how big that tooth Whoa. is. No! Chomp, 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 chomp. So silly. Wow. Yeah. So, Mika, we can actually touch these sharks. Whoa. Yeah. I wonder what they feel like. No, I'm so excited. Oh, hello, shark. Hello. Hello, come here. Are you ready to get pet? Ooh, these are a little shy. Oh, here's oh. one. Here one comes. Mama. Oh, yeah, I did. What did, did you feel like? It actually felt a little rough. Yeah, the skin of these sharks feel like sandpaper. Oh, it's so rough. Whoa. Oh, here's one. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, Mika. Here you go. Whoa. Oh, it's rough. Not smooth at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, come check out over here. What's over here? Yeah. Whoa. Get out nice and safe. Hey. Then. Go right over here. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Whoa. A Ray. bunch of rays. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at them. Whoa. Hey, Ray, how are you? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we get in? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. So in here you want to shuffle your feet so then you don't step on any of the rays. Yeah, good idea. Ooh. So push up, push up, push. Look right over there, Mika. Is this food for the rays? It is. Wow. Special surprise. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, and is there another one? Yep, this is oh. for you. Oh, thank you so much. And this is for me. All right. So how we feed them is we just toss it out. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> some fish in here. Yeah. Anybody hungry? Looks like some shrimp. Woo! Check it out. Wow. Want some food? Looks pretty yummy if you were a ray, huh? We can touch them too. Really? What yeah. does it feel like? Oh, can you tell me? Yeah. Wow. You want to do two fingers along their back. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, hey, Ray. Whoop. Oh, here's one. Oh, hi. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's like he gave me a high five. Cool. It actually kind of feels like a here. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here you go. Time to eat. <laughs> yep, I found that one. Yeah, different than the sharks that were really rough. Yeah, these are really smooth and I slippery. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so silly. <Whoa. laughs> wow, now they really want to eat. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And they flap their wings. <laughs> oh, he's trying to eat my foot. Oh. There you go. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, what a great night at the aquarium. <laughs> yeah, we saw so many cool animals. Yeah, like those adorable sea otters. <laughs> and those jellyfish. <laughs> and the octopus. Whoa, with eight arms. Yeah. Wow, and those crabs. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, so many <laughs> underwater creatures. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show ya. N-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Mika. <laughs> so cool. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great night, Blippi and Mika. Thank you. you See ya. And look at what's behind me. Whoa, a blue and yellow airplane. Yeah. Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? Woo I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. And today you and I are going to learn about airplanes. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow, that sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitation. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Okay, <laughs> well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like it's so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right, <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. Oh, 
Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin. And look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is gonna be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out. Fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can buckle up. Okay, first, let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa, all right, here we go. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, check it out. See this airplane? It's so big. Yeah, I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah, these are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. See, the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow, this airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location. Just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me and I have another airplane for you. And it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? Check this one out. Whoa, yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, what colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah, that looks like a star. Whoa, this plane looks like it goes so fast. Whoa, whoa, check it out. This engine actually goes to an aircraft. Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big. Look how big it is compared to me. And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and Oh, geez, so the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then boom! Whoa, these tires are so big! And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa, do you see them? Whoa, there's so many more tires back here. Wow, this plane must be really heavy. Yeah, that's probably why they have so many tires. Whoa, and look how big this wing is. If it was raining, I definitely would not get wet. <laughs> Whoa, check out this airplane. It looks like it goes really fast. Hey, what color of airplane is it? Yeah, you're right. It's blue with a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Good job. Whoa, 
Look at how big that airplane is! Whoa! Do you see the colors of it? Yeah! It's white, red, and gray! Let's go find some more colors! Whoa! Look at this airplane! Do you see something different with it? Yeah! There's two wings over here! And there's two on the other side! Yeah! So it has two sets of wings. That's really cool. But hey, we're here to learn the color of it. <laughs> what color is this airplane? Yeah, you're right. You said green. Good job. <laughs> Birds on the airplane, the wings keep us gliding. We're on top of the world. So hear that whirring engine and look out on the wing. We're gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. And we're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane. Sky. We're going to fly Yeah, yeah We're going to fly Yeah, yeah Get your passport Get your luggage too We're going on an adventure With your seat Feel the plane taking off and take in the view So keep that worrying engine bed and look out on the wing We're gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky We're going to fly with you today at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> do you like airplanes? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how high they fly in the sky and how they're small airplanes and big airplanes. Wow. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I Blippi! Good job! Alright, see you again! Bye bye! Hello, friends! It's me, Blippi! And today we're exploring construction vehicles. Let's see, can you guess which vehicle this is? Let's go find out! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Tenino, Washington at a job site. Yeah, and today you and I get to learn about a machine. Yeah, a really heavy machine. It has a really big blade up front, pushes anything and everything out of its way. It has a lot of power. It's a little slow though. And it starts with the letter B, just like my name. <laughs> Do you know what machine it is? Okay, let's go find out. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Wow! A piece of construction equipment! 
And this is a powerful piece of construction equipment. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah, this is a bulldozer. Whoa, it is so powerful. Here, come on. Whoa, this is the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah, the blade pushes anything and everything out of its way. And then it goes flat on the ground and then makes the ground nice and flat. Whoa, whoa. And how it gets all of its power is right here. Yeah, the engine. And this is the engine compartment. Yeah, it produces a lot of power and a lot of smoke out of the exhaust. Wow, super cool. Hey. Do you see these? Huh, this is silly. <laughs> yeah, there's no wheels and tires. That's silly, huh? Oh, these are called tracks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these metal things go down into the dirt, the gravel, the mud, so then it has really good traction. So then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, I think I should take it for a spin. Woohoo! Whoa, so comfortable. All right, first things first, safety first. Perfect. Now that I'm nice and safe with my seatbelt, we can operate the bulldozer. Yeah, you operate a bulldozer. You do not drive a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, see these hand controls? This is how you operate the bulldozer. This one makes you go forward and backward, and this one, yeah. This is what you use to control the blade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's turn on the key. Woohoo! All right, flip up the safety doodads, and here we go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. Woohoo! All right. was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, what a powerful machine. Did you see that big blade up front? Yeah, it's so good and powerful. It pushes anything and everything out of its way. Our first vehicle was a bulldozer. They are such an important piece of equipment and help clear the way. Hmm, can you guess what this next vehicle is? Let's go check it out. Let me give you some hints on what piece of machinery we're gonna learn about. Okay, it's a machine that loves to dig. Yeah, it typically has tracks. Yeah, has an arm and a boom and a bucket, digs big holes, and it starts with the letter E. <laughs> Can you guess it? Okay, here we go.
Did you see that? Yeah! This excavator? Yeah, I was driving and holding this giant log! Wait, did you hear that? Yeah! An excavator! Wow! What a cool machine. This is actually a mini excavator. Yeah, they have small ones like this, and they have big ones like that! Wow! Hey, did you see I was sitting in the seat? Yeah, this is the cab of the excavator. Wow, there's so many controls in there. Oh, so cool. Hey, and look down here. Wow. Yeah, just like a bulldozer, this excavator has tracks. But a bulldozer's tracks are metal. And these, yeah, they're rubber, like tires. Wow, that is really cool. The cab can swing around. Yeah, did you see me swing around? Whoa, so cool. Oh, and up here, wow. It's hard to see because the bucket is right here. But this is the blade. Just like a bulldozer, this excavator has a blade to flatten things out and push things out of its way. And where this log is sitting, yeah, this is the bucket of the excavator. Wow, this bucket has some big teeth. Yeah, <laughs> whoa. Wow, and look at this. This kind of looks like a big tooth, but this is actually called a thumb. Wow, the thumb is used to grab things, just like this log. Whoa, and all this, this is the arm and the boom, which then can lift up, swing around, and use the bucket to dig. Yeah, I think I should hop on in and do some digging. I'm an excavator Doug. Wow, so cool. Hey, and look at this big pile of dirt. Wow, I love dirt. Yeah, because it's fun to play around in and it's the per perfect home for some plants. Woohoo! Here we go. Here you go, plants. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, excavators are awesome. Yeah! Wasn't that excavator so cool? I love getting to dig things up. And an excavator makes it so easy and fun. Whoa! That sure was fun learning about that excavator today, wasn't it? Yeah! You can dig some massive holes with the excavator. And since it doesn't have wheels and tires, it has tracks. Yeah, you never get stuck. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? 
B L I P P I Blippy. Good job. See you again. Bye bye. It's me, Flippy! And today, we get to go on this really big boat! Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida! And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins! <laughs> Hello! Yeah! Let's go! We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! And this boat is awesome! Because it's not a regular boat, this is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran! <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Woo! <laughs> But this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip. And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hats. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around, we make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. Okay, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel. Very important part of the boat. And it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. But look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car. Except this one's really big, because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west, and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard, everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. 
Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey. Well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Uh, what's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa! Look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa. Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them. But they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa. So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa. His belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo! <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of his little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse. Uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye, bye, starfish. Whoa. And it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here. And this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve, mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi. <laughs> The really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm gonna let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab, and the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Woo! <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. 
Whoa! Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa! It's so big, just like the small mollusk, and it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum, and it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Woo. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, of Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins but we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah, let's look. Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa, do you see the dolphin? Yeah, hello, we did it. We see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa, this is so cool! Whoa, look, they're so close! Hello, they're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. 
and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch and you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah. And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. But the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah. And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit. Woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. This bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go underwater, water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean. So we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. 
one. And maybe we'll put a second one. Ooh, that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. All the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in, mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so let's grab our animals and we wanna get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little Spiral shell? Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye! <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles, as oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. <laughs> we wanna keep it nice and clean. So, we're gonna take some of this, plumber's tape, and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown-up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water get out. We don't wanna mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape. You have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa! Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay in the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo!
Hello, it's me, Flippy. Today, we're in Tonino, Washington, in front of a greenhouse. Whoa, do you know what a greenhouse is? Yeah, a greenhouse is a house that houses plants. Yeah, it controls the environment. So then you can make sure that the temperature is just right for the plants to grow really big. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out, come on. This place is awesome. There are so many plants here. Wow. Hey, look at this one. Yeah, it's a flower. Oh, oh smells so good. Looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Another one. Yeah, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color pink. Ooh, and all these leaves. What color are they? Yeah, the color green. Wow, flowers are so cool. You could put them on your tabletop and they look so pretty. Whoa, what kind of plants are these? Oh, they look real small compared to those flowers. Yeah, these are actually called succulents. Huh, interesting. They kind of look like cactuses. Yeah, but they're not pokey or anything. Actually, a cactus? Yeah, that's a type of succulent. Wow, succulents are so cool. Whoa. Ooh, some more flowers over here. Wow, there's so many flowers. A lot of greenhouses have flowers in them, or they could be growing fruits. Hmm, <laughs> I love fruits. And might grow vegetables. Yum! I love vegetables too. I really enjoy eating healthy. Do you eat healthy? Yeah, good job. But hey, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color purple. Come on. not a flower, it's not a fruit, it's not a vegetable. These look like a type of grass. Yeah, three different types of grasses. Look, whoa, looks like my hair. Hello, hey, <laughs> do I look silly or do I look silly? <laughs> oh, now that is silly. <laughs> Here's another type right here. Whoa, and another type. Whoa, yeah, do you have grass at your house? You very well might. It's so fun to play in and roll in. Whoa, 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many plants in here. I enjoy greenhouses. Whoa, look at this. Wow, whoa, a big pot of Flowers. Did you see how it was hanging? Yeah, this looks like a nice, pretty bouquet of flowers. Yeah, a bouquet is where it's a big group of flowers, but typically you cut them off and then you can make a very colorful bouquet. Wow, so pretty. But this is also pretty and it's in a hanging pot. Wow, all right, we have to make sure we put things back where we found them, woohoo! Whoa, check these out. Wow, so many colors. What colors do you see right here? Looks like that one is pink. That one right there is red. Ooh, look at that one. It's the same color as the sun. Yeah, yellow. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I have a really fun thing for us to do together. Have you ever planted a plant? <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun. Do you see this? Yeah, you know what this is? It's a flower. 
it's an adult flower. It's really old. <laughs> and look at this one. This looks like a teenager or a baby. It hasn't even created the flower yet, but soon enough, this is going to turn into this. But in order for it to become this size, yeah, it starts out as a seed. Yeah, every single plant, like flowers, I should say, start out as seeds. All right, but the things that every plant needs are sun, water, soil, which is like a house, and nutrition, which is like food. Whoa, all right, so let's create this plant's house or home where we're gonna put the seed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's scoop up this soil. Oh, <laughs> I'm making a mess, that's okay. <laughs> I'll clean it up after. There we go. All right, this soil has a lot of nutrition already in it. Yeah, there we go. And sometimes the water that you put in this to water it has some nutrition in it as well. All right. So check this out. This right here is a flower seed. Wow. Do you see how small it is? Yeah, so cool. So when you put this right in here and you push it down, there we go. Okay, let's cover it up just a little bit. The soil is nice and moist. And then after a while, it's gonna sprout up. And it's gonna be so small and cute. Oh! <laughs> and then it'll grow up to be this. Wow, so green and pretty. <laughs> but when it becomes an adult, it is going to flower. Yeah, good job. All right, so what are the four things that every plant needs to grow? Yeah. It needs some sun, it needs some soil, it needs some nutrition, and it needs some water. Wow, this was awesome. <laughs> Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around Flowers are a bloom and making lots of food For all the bugs and creatures, even me and you We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Recycle paper, glass, and plastic Taking care of the earth Will make you feel fantastic You can plant a tree or pick up some trash Ask a friend for help Then it'll be a blast We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Together, together We can make a change Song. Come learn all about it Together, together It's time we start Let's do our part Let's do our part Let's do our part learning about plants with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, 
all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then, let's grab the snacks, and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good, welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you, what are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers, oh. and these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello flamingos. Hey, wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa. That is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk. And if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah, it's a really strong smell and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? 
It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs>is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa. Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa. And it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably going to think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey. How are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah. Three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey! Do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails, and he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night. But Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa. That is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red-tailed boa constrictor. Whoa, 
look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I hope she is having a great day! Whoa, she is so big! Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah! She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool! <laughs> Wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not, she's actually a lizard. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and today we're at Creation Station in Studio City, California. Yeah. I love this place. This is a place where you can dance. Yeah, they have dance lessons here. And you know, I love dancing. But first, I have someone really special to introduce to you. Hey, Blippi. Hey, Mika. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Mika. She's my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. <laughs> oh, so silly. <laughs> I'm so excited because we're at a dance studio. Yeah, are you ready to dance? But well, we should probably warm up before we do some dancing today. Yeah, great idea. Look at all these things we can warm up to. Oh yeah, cones. Ooh. Check them out. Look at the colors. We have a yellow cone. Orange. <laughs> Ooh, bluish purple. Purple. <laughs> Ooh, another orange one. Ooh, <laughs> green. Yeah, and one more. Blue. Yeah. All right. We uh, use our feet for some agility. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Whoa. Really fast, Blippi. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Good Whoa. Good makeup. Whoa. Hey. A hula hoop. Yeah. Why don't you try hula hooping? Okay. Here we Whoa. go. You put it around your waist and you. Whoa. Three orange balls. Wow, can you juggle? Yep. 
I can. Woo! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at these! Huh. All right, what can we do with these? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we toss them to each other at the same time? Yeah, let's try it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Woohoo! Three, two, one. Whoa! All right. Whoa! Nice. Whoa! 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 <laughs> All right, are we warming up the stretch? Yeah, let's do some stretches. All right. Yeah. Oh. Touch our toes. Oh. Oh yeah. Feels oh. good to stretch. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Nice leg stretching. Now we're gonna Ooh. be able to dance really good. Yeah, I cannot wait to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like beautiful music. Yeah, I wonder if someone's dancing to the music. Let's go see. All right, let's go. Yeah. dancer and I was just doing some ballet. Wow. Would you guys like to learn some ballet with me? Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. Um, come on over to the bar. We'll oh, okay. get you guys all set up. Whoa, Whoa cool bar. Really what is ballet? this? Thank you. Uh, this is our ballet bar. Oh. So our professional ballerinas learn balances and how to be more flexible all with this bar. Wow. So the first thing a ballerina needs to know is first position. You're going to get those feet together nice and tight. Okay. And just open up your toes like a pizza pizza. Pizza. And then stand up super tall, yep. And I like to only put two fingers on the bar so we're not putting too much weight on it, but just enough to stand super tall. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> now there are some ballet moves that we need to know because they're important and then there are some that are just super fun. Oh, so we're gonna okay. start with one that's important. Okay. okay. Always use plie. Can you guys say plie? Plie. plie. Excellent. We're just gonna bend down but keep tall. Keep yep, and then stand it back up. And then Whoop. down. And oh, up. Flippy, you look like a real ballet dancer. <laughs> yes. Do you guys think you know what plie might mean? Our knees do it when we do the plie. You're bending. Yes, that's so good. Plie means to bend. Oh, ah. that makes sense. We kind of look like frogs, though. Yeah. Like we're about to <laughs> jump in exactly. the air. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, really? Yep. Whoa. We're going to take that plie and we're going to jump straight up into the sky. Wow. And land back in that first position. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. That was and that really move cool. is called saute. Can you guys say saute? Saute. Perfect. Saute means to. Jump? Jump? You got it. You guys yeah. are so smart. Whoa. 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 <laughs> so <laughs> good. Okay, another important one now. So that one was super fun. Yeah. Huh? Another yeah. important one is passe. 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 You're going to slide that toe up to your oh. knee, finding your balance. Keep that knee pushed back. Stand super tall. And you're going to stand a little right back down. So it's kind of like an cool. elevator ride. Your toe takes up the leg. Do, 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 do. Toe's going for a ride. Yeah. And then back down to first position. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Excellent. Whoop, whoop. You guys are pro. <laughs> so good. Wow. That is really fun. One more at the bar. Okay. okay. Also super important. Okay. okay. Tondu. Tondu. Yep. It's kind of like what you did next door. It's the first thing I do in the morning. Ugh. It means to stretch. Oh, I okay. love stretching. Ugh. And it's for our leg and our ankle. So you're going to stay in that first position. You're going to do your best to slide that toe forward. Ugh. 
keep your toe on the floor, and then slide it back. Oh. Perfect, wow. and then use the other leg. Slide it forward as far as you can and stretch. Cool. And then bring it back to first. Oh, that feels Ooh. good. Yeah, yeah it does. Time do. Do. Time do. do. Excellent. Whoa. So that's to the front, but you can also go side. Okay. Whoa. And to the other side. Whoa. And you can also go back. Ooh. Ooh. And then you can connect all those tondus and make kind of like a circle around your Whoa. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, it kind of feels like skating. Yeah. Woo, we learned a lot of ballet already. Yeah, so cool. many words, huh? Wow. Now we're gonna, if you can help me move this bar, I'm gonna teach you just like two or three more fun oh. words and then we can put it to music. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank right. you. There we go. You got enough space there? Yep. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna stay in that first position. Okay, okay. feet are together, toes are open. Let's push our hands on our hips. Yes. <laughs> we remember saute. So saute means to jump. 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 Excellent. So we're gonna Whoa. do eight super quiet sautés. Oh, One, ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was perfect. <laughs> now we're gonna jump open. Whoa. Whoa. This All is right. called a chape. A chape. Lots yeah. of new words. Yeah, it is. Kind of like a jumping jack, so it's super easy. Just jump up and use that plie, and then jump close. You got it. A chape. <laughs> a chape. One more. A chape. Yeah. Nice. Wow, we did it really so good. good. <laughs> Can I give you one more jump? Yeah. Sure. Okay, instead of being in first, I want you to take your heel to your toe. Boop, 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 boop. This is called fifth position. Fifth. Okay. Yeah. So this jump, we call it shangma, and it means to change. Oh. So all you have to do is jump up in the air and land with your other foot in front. Okay. Oh. Can you try? <sighs> yeah. One, Sounds tricky. Two, three, shangma. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. Let's try to do three shangmas in a row. All right. Ready? Okay. Yep. Change. One, two, three. Perfect. You got it. Yeah. That was awesome. Who teaches that? That was so awesome. Cool. I'm so proud of you guys. You learned so much. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for you. teaching us. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know. Do we want to put it to music? Yeah. Sure. That sounds fun. Yeah. All right. Let's hit that music. All right. Too, if you guys want to learn it. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of style is it? Tap dance. <gasps> yeah. yeah! That means we have to change our shoes and then we'll come right back. Okay. All right, let's All right. go! Let's yeah. go. All right. Wow! Whoa! Yeah. You guys put your 
your shoes on super fast. Yeah, so excited. Thanks. Oh, you did too. <laughs> yes. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Two important things to know about our tap shoes before we start. Okay. okay. The tap shoe has two metal shiny parts, right? Oh, uh huh. Wow, they do. Okay, we have oh. to learn what they're called. Okay. So up here, I mean, what's in that part of your tap shoe? Are your fingers in there? No. No. It's Our your toe. So we're gonna call this the toe. Okay. 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 The other part is called the heel. Heel. The heel. Exactly right. <laughs> so the first few things we learn are gonna be super easy peasy. Put that leg out. Don't let it move. But you tap your toe. Ooh, I love that sound. Excellent. Wow. Good. Can we try the other foot? Perfect. Now we're going to use the same part of your shoe, but you're going to put it behind you. Oh, uh huh. it's called knock knocks. Yeah, like knocking on a door. Let's try the other foot. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Excellent. Now with the knock knocks, you can switch.
teaching us how to tap dance. You're welcome. Excellent memories, too. Oh. So like, thank you, you're a great teacher. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I have another teacher here who teaches another style of dance if you are up to learning one more style. Yeah! yeah. He teaches hip-hop. <gasps> hip-hop sounds really cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. His name is Mr. Caden and he's just down the hall. Here, follow me. Okay, we're gonna get our shoes yeah, first though. Shoes. Okay. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> I'm Mr. Caden. I'm a hip hop instructor here at Creation Station. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, that Thank was you. Do you guys want to learn some hip hop moves? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, first, do you guys know what hip hop is? Hmm. A type of dance? Yeah. Yes, it is a type of dance, but it's like all types of dance mixed together into one. Wow. wow. Cool. cool. Yeah. It's like ballet dancing and tap dancing and jazz dancing all put together. Wow! And there we have hip hop. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Would well, you want to move, learn some moves? Yeah! yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? First, yeah. we're gonna dust off our shoulders. Ready? Oh, we're gonna dust. take our left hand and we're gonna dust off our shoulder. Oh, like it's dirty! <laughs> yeah! Ready? And then we're gonna do it to the other side. Okay. And dust it off. Oh, our shoulder. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you guys are so good at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you too. Oh, thank you. Okay, ready? Do you want to learn another move? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to raise the roof. Raise Whoa. the roof. Ready? You're going to take your hands. You're going to place them up like they're on the ceiling. Like that. And ready? You're going to push the ceiling up. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, that's really heavy. Yeah. Right? Raise the roof. Yeah. Raise the roof. Wow. Raise, raise the roof. roof. <laughs> raise the roof. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. You guys are really good at hip hop. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ready? Another move. We're gonna put our pants on. Ready? All we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it and put it up. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah. So ready? Grab your pants and put them on. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do it to the other side. Ready? All right. Grab your pants and put them on. Oh. Yeah, let's cool. try it one more time. Ready? Okay. Grab your pants, put them on. Whoa. Other side. Grab your pants, put them on. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Woo. <laughs> okay, ready? Huh? We're gonna learn another hip hop move. Whoa! Whoa. So many moves! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? We're gonna do a hip hop slide. Do you guys like water slides or anything like that? Yeah! yeah. We love going down slides! <laughs> so much fun! Well, ready? We're gonna learn a hip hop slide. So, all you're gonna do, you're gonna take your hand and push it away. At the same time, you're gonna slide your feet over to the right side. Oh, oh okay. Whoa. Whoa! You do the exact same thing on the other side. Take all your right. right hand. Push it away, left foot, slide. Whoa! Whoa. Ready to try one more time. Ready, slide to the right. Whoa! Whoa. And slide to the left. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> so you okay? Yeah. Ready? We're gonna learn a super cool move. <gasps> okay. Okay. Yay. This is called a floor spin. Floor spin? What? Whoa! <laughs> okay, all you're gonna do, you're gonna stay on the floor. Ready? Let's stay on the floor. All right. Ready? We're gonna sit with our feet. Pow, just like this. Right. All you gotta do, make sure you have all your weight on your hands behind you. Okay. okay. So all your weight on your hands? Yeah, yep. I think so. Ready? All you gotta do is you're gonna push your hands around and then strike a pose. Whoa! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right. Ready? Do you guys wanna try it? Yeah! yeah. Ready? Let's go. Here ready? Go. And go! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. And ready? Strike a pose! pose. Whoa. Yeah! Yeah, Mika! <laughs> You guys did so good. Thank you. Okay, now that we've learned all those hip hop moves, do you want to put it into a fun hip hop combo? Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's stand up and dance. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Woo. So first, we're going to start with raising the roof. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Woo.
I'm so good <laughs> oh, Thank you so much for teaching us how to dance hip hop style. Yeah, of course. It's so fun to move our bodies like that. <laughs> yeah. So, so far we've learned how to do some ballet. Yep. And tap. And hip hop. Yeah, three different styles of dance. Oh, maybe Mika and I, we should have a show. Yeah, oh, let's do it. Yeah. It could be the Blippi and Mika dance recital. Yeah, do you want to come to the show? Yes, I'd love to come. All right, okay. see you there. See you there. Yeah. Welcome to the Blippi and Mika dance recital. Hope you enjoy. Did you like doing most today, Mika? Mm. Oh, I really love tap dancing with those cool tap shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite? Hmm, let's see. Well, I love tap dancing. That was cool. Yeah. Hip hop was awesome. Oh, yeah. And ballet was so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All three were so cool. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Cool. All right, see you again. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> 
Whoa, look where we're at. The Sandy Shack. <laughs> yeah, it's a really big sandbox and you and I get to go inside. <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One, two. <laughs> okay, I'll put these to the side and we can go inside. Don't forget your bucket. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's so cool in here. It's really sandy. There's so much sand here. And it's a good thing we have our pail and shovel. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful for scooping sand up. Whoa, and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> Yeah, this animal is a crab. Ooh, he's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey, do you know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh, yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. <laughs> Moving side to side like a crab is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. But look at this. There's another animal. Whoa. This animal is really big and likes to live on beaches just like a crab in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa. And look how big his shell is. Whoa. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> Whoa. This is so much fun playing in the sand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Ooh. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. <laughs> Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. Now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. But this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. And then I take the bunny ears and they give each other a little hug. They wrap around and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under. Then one bunny ear, two bunny ears. Woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through to give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that! We tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't want to play or dance when your shoes are untied because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore, come on! There are so many cool things here. <laughs> Look at this really big circle. Hello. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this over here. There are so many cubes. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many different colors on these cubes. Look, we have the color white and the color red. 
and the color purple and the color blue. <gasps> Wait a minute. If I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, and look over here. There's like a little diorama playset. And there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Whoa, and look, there are two sheep. Yeah, one, two. And you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah, bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge. Because they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. There are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs. And they're so cute and tiny. Woo. <laughs> they're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath, because it's really warm out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa, and look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good helping do math or arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about two apples plus three apples. Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, two plus three apples is five apples. Whoa. Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color, orange. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, this isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. Whoa, <laughs> they sounded really cool. Those are awesome fruit drums, <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa, look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we have lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So first, we got some onions. So let's see, one onion, two onion. <laughs> yeah, we got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute, where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute, these are halves. So, if you take one half and another half, and you put them together, you get one hole. One whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have 
two heads of corn. Whoa, and look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots, and so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. Woo! Ooh, <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right, wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> That's not a potato, that's a donut, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because we only have one potato, but this, not a potato. <laughs> Whoa, we did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore, come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, I just came out of this really awesome tree house. Hey, let's explore it a little. Whoa, look at it. This is so big! This tree is enormous! Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, or in the tree, and a house above the tree! Whoa! This is such a cool tree house, I think you and I should go up in it! Come on! Whoa, look at this place! It's so amazing! And look at this! This isn't any tree house, this is Longo's Cove! And look at this, this is a pirate ship. Whoa, someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited, let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, there's some more over here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, whoa, 12. We made it up all the stairs and it was 12, that was a lot. Whoa, check this out. You know what this is right here? Yeah, this is called a spyglass and this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah, there's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places. And we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we want to find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and and hingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, I'm looking. Whoa, I think I found the anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich turn. Whoa, that was amazing. Looking for all those different birds. Hey. Do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or fresh water without any salt? Hmm. You're all right, because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty, <laughs> yeah. And we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing, because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa, it's a captain's wheel. Whoa, I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa, that is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa, hey, it looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh, yeah, 
And it says over here, don't pollute. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah, it's really good because recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah. If you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm gonna see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa! That was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I have a really fun idea. How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay, we went that way, so now let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool. Look at this place. <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky. Ooh. <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove. <laughs> it was so much fun. And now for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide. Okay, I think I'm ready. On your mark, get set. And go, Blippi. Woo! <laughs> Bye-bye! Woo! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the Sandy Shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at today. You don't know where we're at? Yeah, because it's an illusion. <laughs> Today, we're at World of Illusions in Hollywood, California. And this place is so awesome. But first, I have someone really important to introduce you to. Yeah, it's my best friend. Hey, Blippi. Hey, everyone, I'm Mika. Yeah, this is Mika. She is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, no, no, Mika, you're my best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to get to hang out with you today. Yeah. What are we going to do? Well, we're at World of Illusions. Whoa, I bet there's so many cool things to look at. Yeah, there is. And I brought my camera so I can take some pictures. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow. Look at this place. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see us? We were so miniature back there. Yeah, we were so little, and now that we're up close, we look bigger. Whoa! <laughs> and speaking of big and gigantic, whoa, everything in this room is gigantic. It's so big. Whoa, this is awesome. Cool. Whoa, look at these. Whoa. Whoa. They're giant eggs. Wow. Let's count the eggs together. Okay. One, One two, two Three, four, five, six. Six giant eggs. Yeah. Wow, and they're so colorful. I was just going to say that. Yeah? I love how colorful they are. What one is your favorite? Ooh, I think this one because there's yellow and purple, and I like all these stripes, this cool design. Whoa, and I like this one because it has orange and this kind of bluish color. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whoa. Wow, it's so big. Look at this kitchen counter, Blippi. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to reach any cookies if they were up there. No, it's so <laughs> tall. Oh, or if there are some bananas. Oh. Oh. Or some broccoli. Ooh. Whoa. Nope. What, what would you want if it was up there? Ooh, I think I would want a nice tall cup of orange juice. Let's get Yum. Oh. Nope. nope. Hey, this would be a great room to play another round of hide and seek. That's a great idea. Yo, can I hide now? Okay, yeah, you yeah. can hide. Okay, awesome. All right, will you close your eyes with me and count to five? All right, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here we come. Okay, did she buy the cake? Hmm. Where are you, Mika? I don't see you by the cake. Do you see Mika by the cake? Hmm, not seeing her. Huh. All right, what about the teacup? Mika, where are you? <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. Whoa, where could she be? Mika, oh, maybe on top of the kitchen countertop. Mika, where are you? Oh, is she up here? Whoa, no, I don't see her anywhere. Do you see Mika? Mika, where are you? I'm behind you. She said she's behind me, but I can't see her. Do you see her? Mika, where are you? Mika! Behind you. What? She's behind me? I don't see her. What? You're saying that she's in the cupboard? Okay, let's go check. hide and seek. Yeah, that was so fun. Yeah. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, we'll Yeah, let's go. Whoa, come on. Whoa, you look so small. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This place is awesome. Yeah, doesn't Blippi look so much bigger than me? Yeah, Nika, you look so small. <laughs> Whoa, but check this out. <laughs> Whoa, now I'm really big. And I'm really small. <laughs> Do you want to see how it works? Whoa, come on. Yeah, come on. Whoa. See how the floor is slanted? It's kind of like a ramp. Yeah. And Mika was a lot closer to you, and I was further. Yeah. When I was closer to you, I looked really big. And when I was further away, I looked small. Yeah. You want to see an example? <laughs> see my two hands? They're the same size. Yes, but if you move one hand back and the other one forward, this hand looks bigger than this hand because it's closer. Yeah. This place is awesome. It's really, really fun. Yeah, should we go explore some more? Yeah, let's keep looking. Yeah. Check it out! Whoa, I'm sitting on an elephant trunk! Yeah! Whoa. And I'm balancing on an elephant tusk! Whoa! Let's sound like elephants together! All right, here we go! Oh. Oh. Will you act like an elephant with us? Oh. Oh. Whoa! Hey, Mika, I should take your picture! Yes, please! All right! Say elephants on three. One, two, three. Elephants. Whoa. Whoa. This is going to be such a great picture. Whoa. Oh, let me see. Wow. wow, it really looks like I'm sitting on an elephant trunk. I know. And it looks like I'm standing right now on the elephant tusk. Yeah, but if you come over here, come over this way. Yeah. You will see, I'm just sitting on the floor. And I'm just standing on the floor. <laughs> That's called an illusion. Yeah, this place is so cool. Yeah, should we go explore some more? Yeah, let's go. Come on. 
Surprise, mommy chick. I'm not a baby chick. I'm Mika. Hello. <laughs> oh, Mika, what are you doing? Hey, Flippy, look. I just hatched out of this egg. <laughs> no, you didn't. Here, <laughs> Mika. Yep. Hey, Mika, do you mind if I take a picture of you? Oh, yes, please. All right. <laughs> what should I say? How about baby chick on three? Okay. One, two, three. Baby chick. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's see this picture. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it does look like you're a baby chicken. It really does. Thanks for the picture. You're welcome. Here you go. You Thank can you. That one. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're jumping on a trampoline. Yeah, with a bunch of cupcakes. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Whoa, look at these cupcakes. What colors Whoa. are they, Mika? I see orange. Who, who likes the color orange? Me! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh! And see a purple cupcake. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. Is that why you always wear a purple shirt? You know it. Yeah! Ooh! Ooh. And a green cupcake. Ooh, it's green. Yo! It's just like my camera. Mm -hmm. The color green. And look, it's not a trampoline at all. It's another illusion. It's just painted on the floor. What cupcake would you want to eat? <laughs> probably the purple one. <laughs> yeah. I would probably pick the orange one. Yeah, yummy. Should we jump some more? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Whoa. 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 I brought my camera. Yeah. yeah, now I have this cool photo album. Yeah, we took <laughs> so many pictures. Yeah. Ooh. What was your favorite part of today? <laughs> oh, right there. I love the elephant. Oh, yeah, that was so <laughs> silly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B L I. B-P-I! Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Wait a second. Mika!
Erica, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell ya. It's N-E-E-K-A-H. Nika! Yeah! All right, see you soon. Bye-bye!